All right, guys, here's the final result. Lentils, onions, and um, bell peppers, salmon, two eggs, broccoli, sauteed oysters with grated carrots, avocado, and over here, obviously my, what you gonna call it? My fruit boron bowl, whatever you wanna call it. Full of fiber, full of um, healthy nuts, walnuts, uh, cashews, almonds, you name it, with some berries. I'm about to tear it up, it smells so good. Guys, I'm not playing around with this cut. I'm telling y'all, guys, I'm not playing. All right, guys, I'm out. All right, guys, while we at it, while I'm finishing up my meals over here, I get a lot of questions saying, do why, you know, how do I track my calories and my macros and blah, blah, blah. Since you guys know I'm not a big fan of counting calories, I just focus on getting my protein, my carbs, and, you know, I try to keep my fat under control and whatever calories that adds up to that's what I'm gonna eat you know I'm not a big uh, fan of counting calories I think it's too stressful and it's you know it's unless you preparing for a show I don't think it's necessary but anyway um so this is how I keep track of my stuff guys I don't know if you guys could tell I did this myself I think a year and a half ago when I first started my cut it's too small but um pretty much I would put my you know I did. It took me hours to do this. I did it on Excel from scratch. Even though I use my fitness pal, sometimes, um, like probably like once every two weeks, I use that as like a, a tracker. I put my height, my weight, uh, my weight in kilograms, and I set it up so that it tells me exactly how much I need to eat using using my calculations, right? So for protein, uh, if you know you guys know how to use Excel, I put body weight times one point five. Oh shit! I'm fucking up numbers and shit. Body weight times one point five. Carbs, body weight times one, fat, uh, half of my body weight, right? And it adds up to 20, 2,900 calories. This is what it adds up to when you multiply protein by four, carbs by four, fat by nine, and you add it up all together, get about 2,900. So, but like I said, I never look at the calories. I just focus on getting my protein, my carbs, my fat. Now, why is my protein so high? Once again, it's because I'm cutting, guys. When you're dieting and you want to maintain, it's easy to lose weight, right? If you cut your calories, obviously, you know, most of the time, if your hormones are in check, you're going to lose weight, but then you might also lose muscle mass. The key to losing fat without losing too much muscle is to optimize your protein intake. You need that leucine in your system. You need all those essential amino acids. You need your mTOR to constantly be on. It's not going to be on 24-7, but you want to, you know, you want to you want to you want to stay anabolic as often as you can. And you got to increase your protein so that your body doesn't use your your your, your protein for energy. I rather have my body use my carbs and my fat. So my protein is at 300. My carbs is around 200. I really don't care if I meet the carb goal or not. I'm doing carb back loading anyway. So uh, my fat is at 100. Uh, really from healthy fats. And as far as my meal plan, let me show you guys my my meal plan. And I did this thing right here, so it shows me I'm doing a protein is 40%. Carbs is around around 30%. Fat is also around 30%. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm still amazed I, I, I did this whole thing from scratch, guys. I had no knowledge of Excel, but hey, that's what YouTube and Google is for, right? It's pretty neat. And um, where's my meal plan? Where's that shit? Where's that shit? There you go. My testosterone Saiyan diet. Yeah, guys. All right, so it's pretty simple, right? I put all my meals, meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, meal six, right? Then I put, uh, let's see. See, protein, fiber, I know you guys can tell, so I'm reading it for you. Fat, fruits, carbs, supplements, right? And and after that, I, I, I just use basic basic uh, um, principles, right? When you're setting up your meal plan, as long as you know the principles, you know, what to eat with each meal, what not to eat at which time, people that say that meal timing doesn't matter, fine for you guys, but it's working for me. Call back loading. And stuff like intermittent fasting are amazing for people that put on fat too easily. If you have good genetics, you're ectomorph or mesomorph, then yeah, you don't have to worry about meal time and all that complicated shit. But if you're struggling with a gut, if you're struggling with it your whole life, you got a, your body stores on fat like crazy, you got to find ways to optimize muscle gains without putting on too much fat. So anyway, so here I put like a little star on each meal to tell me um, the principles, right? Once you know the principles, you could just put in whatever meals you fucking want, right? For example, meal one, lots of fats. I'm reading it for you. Lots of fats, lots of fiber, lots of fruits, not a lot, a little bit of fruits, and slow digesting protein with a little bit of fast digesting protein. You know, in the morning, you've been fasting for quite a while, so you need protein. 
Uh, but as you can tell, I stay away from carbs in the morning. Carb back loading principles, right? You don't want to spike your insulin in the morning too much, right? Obviously, whatever you eat is going to spike your insulin if there's protein in it, right? But it won't be as much as if you eat carbs. The reason why you don't want to spike your insulin in the morning, I keep telling you guys, is because you don't want your body... When you spike insulin, number one, your body stops, store, um, stops burning fat. Number two, your body starts storing fat. You, that's two things you don't want when you're fucking trying to lose weight. When you're trying to lose fat and you're an endomorph. You want your body to use fat for energy, not carbs. If you eat carbs in the morning, your body's going to use most of that for energy throughout the day, which is great if you're bulking, trying to put on mass or blah, blah, blah. If you're trying to lose fat, nah, you want your body to use fat, guys. But anyway, that's a whole different video. Uh, there's, a, there's a different reason, another reason why you don't want to use uh, carbs in the morning. But like I said, I, I mentioned that in several videos. Meal 2, lots of fats and fiber and fruits, slow protein. Same thing like meal 1. Meal 3 is my pre-workout meal. That's why I kind of customize this. It's called back loading, but I put my, you know, once again, when you know your body, you know what to change. Pre-workout, I'm going to eat oatmeal, right? So that's the only type of carbs I'm going to eat in the first half of the day. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to maximize my pump in the gym. I need some complex carbs in my blood. To get that huge pump. I just found out that for my body, if I eat complex carbs about an hour before I train, I have this huge pump. Plus, you know, obviously you got to drink a lot of water. So, oatmeal, right? Uh, and let me just show you guys. For example, protein, liver, two eggs. Beef liver has a lot of nutrients. Two eggs, one scoop of protein that I take with my coffee. You know, that, that's my fast digesting sauce just for the, um, just for the morning. Um, that's gonna spike my insulin just a little bit because I don't forget I'm eating a lot of fiber and fat so That's gonna slow down and digest in a bit. Uh, I'm eating bran for my fiber Broccoli or kale or spinach, right? So I pick whichever one I want based on the day if I'm eating broccoli today Tomorrow's gonna be kale day. The third is gonna be spinach day You gotta cycle your stuff so you don't get bored of the same diet over and over again Another source of fiber I'm eating is lentils for my fast. I'm getting half an avocado. I'm getting um, I wish you guys could see so I can have to read that shit. I'm getting some peanuts uh, olive oil for fruits. I'm getting a mixture of fruits and berries and I'm getting some lime to alkal alkalinize. I hate that word to make my body more alkaline <laughs> to fight the acidity of my body. All right, and then some coffee, right? Because I work at, I work really early. I get o'clock in the morning. Um, meal two, salmon, two eggs, oysters for my zinc, you know, eggs for my cholesterol and all the good nutrients. Uh, broccoli or kale or spinach. Same thing. Fiber, fast, the same. Avocado, blah, blah, blah. Fruit mix. Meal three is the, is the first meal I'm eating actually a protein shake right before the gym. Uh, two scoops away. Uh, I don't want my body to break down too much protein when I'm training. Fiber, I'm getting me some bran. Uh, that's going to help slow that just in just a little bit. Uh, fats, same thing. Nut, nuts, uh, peanut butter, fruits. Uh, once again, a mixture of fruits for my, for my protein adjusting enzymes. Carbs, I'm getting some oatmeal, just a little bit of oatmeal. Uh, trying to get that pump. And then that's the first time I'm actually taking a supplement. Other than coffee, which is not really supplement, but enzymes, creatine, and glutamine. Yeah, right around the gym, I don't fuck around. I take a lot of fast digesting stuff, as you're about to see. Meal four, post workout, and I'm putting the the directions here. So, meaning, whatever I eat, big insulin spike. I need a big insulin spike post workout. No fat, no fiber. When I say no, it doesn't mean zero. It means as little as possible. Because once again, I don't want to slow down the digestion of anything post workout. Milk, two scoops away, even though I'm lactose intolerant. I got to find a way to get that in my system. Milk is so beneficial if you want strong bones uh, and a lot of other stuff, man. A lot of people that I train or work with put on a lot of mass when they started drinking a lot of fucking milk. Enzymes, creatine, glutamine. Once again, I made a video about glutamine. I'm not going without glutamine. If you train high volume, high intensity, you need some glutamine in your system. It's going to speed up recovery a lot. If you don't believe it, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, milk 5, same thing. Milk, two scoops away, same subs. Last meal of the day, I'm going back to beef, right? Because I'm going to bed. You want slow digesting protein when you go to bed. So I'm getting me some beef. So it's going to stay in my system all night. I need a lot of nitrogen when I'm sleeping and fasting, as you guys call it. Two eggs and um, some enzymes. And the, the reason why I put fiber and fat, obviously, is empty because I'm trying to limit them post-workout. Fruits, once again, I'm eating them in the morning because they don't really re replenish muscle glycogen a lot. And carbs, I left it blank because I could eat anything the fuck I want when I'm carb back loading. Uh, I could eat, uh, as long as it spikes my insulin. So I leave it blank because I just eat whatever I want. As long as it's low in fat and low in fiber. All right, that's it, guys. That's my meal plan. And like I said, it varies. It varies. The only thing that I don't change is the principles. The principles right here never, never change, but the meals change to accommodate my macros and things like that. So, all right, guys. Hope that answers your question. If you were curious about my meal plan. Uh, if you have more questions, put it down below. 
once again it doesn't have to be so uh, organized that's just me uh, I just like being super organized because it's easier to keep track it's easier to see what works and what doesn't work and so I have it like that but on some days when I feel too tired I'm like fuck it I'll just do whatever the fuck I want guys you want to make this fun you don't want it to be a, a, a a uh, boring and and repetitive thing otherwise you're gonna burn out and quit make it fun right if, if this is too complicated for you don't do it on the days you don't feel like following it take a day off let your body and your brain reset all right so wish you guys the best in your cut i'm out of here